A 15-year-old McKinley County boy is dead after contracting hantavirus. A person can contract hantavirus from breathing in the air around rodent droppings and rodent urine. The deer mouse is common all over New Mexico, but rural areas in particular are especially at risk for contracting the virus. With the temperature starting to cool and fall approaching, the mouse is more commonly seen around households, so be sure to check your house for broken windows, open screen doors, little cracks and crevices, anywhere that a rodent can slip into your house. And if you do come in contact with rodent droppings, make sure to be wearing a mask while you clean it up and disinfect the area with bleach. Reporting in Albuquerque, Tamara Lopez, KOB4. Another mass shooting has rocked the nation, this just weeks after the shooting in El Paso and the one in Dayton, Ohio. What started off as a routine traffic stop in Midland, Texas, turned into an active shooter situation when the suspect shot the officer that pulled him over. The suspect then continued on towards Odessa where he stole a mail truck and began shooting seemingly at random. Police say there's still no motive for this shooting, but the suspect did recently lose his job. Seven dead in total, 22 injured, including a 17th month old baby. Now police did shoot and kill the suspect outside of a Synergy Theater in Odessa, and they are still working on finding that motive. Reporting in Albuquerque, Tamara Lopez, KOB4. President Trump is scheduled to be in New Mexico right here at the Santa Ana Star Center in Rio Rancho to host a rally. Air Force One is scheduled to touch down at the Albuquerque International Airport around rush hour. Because of all the anticipated traffic and added security measures for this event, there are going to be a lot of detours around the area for residents who live near the Star Center. There are also a lot of closures planned on Monday. So places like Rio Rancho Public Schools will be off that day, as well as UNM West Campus will not have classes on Monday. The city of Rio Rancho and Sandoval County offices will also be closed because of the rally. This event is free to the public. All you have to do is sign up for your tickets online at donaldjtrump.com. That's going to be two free tickets per mobile number. And according to officials, parking is going to be first come first serve. So once the parking lot fills up, they will not be accepting any more people in for this event. Now, the rally is scheduled to start at 7 p.m. Doors will be opening at 4 p.m. Reporting in Rio Rancho, I'm Tamara Lopez for KOB4. Tingley Beach is looking a little different these days, especially the northernmost pond, which Albuquerque Biopark did recently drain, all in efforts to help clean it up. There was some unexpected items found at the bottom of this pond, like skateboards, cell phones, a baby stroller, even a wedding ring. The associate director of the biopark, Stephanie Stowell, says it's all in efforts to help clean up the pond and refresh it. She has said that they set aside $14,000, and that includes things like a truck that will come help and vacuum up all the gunk and muck that was left at the bottom of this pond. She does say, however, that it should be up and running again, filled and cleaned by September 21st, which is just in time for the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta, so Albuquerque visitors can come and enjoy a freshly cleaned Tingley Park. Reporting in Albuquerque, Tamara Lopez, KOB4. People on the East Coast are really just playing a waiting game at this point, preparing and trying to figure out when Hurricane Dorian will make landfall in the U.S. Now this storm has already struck the Bahamas, leaving massive destruction in its wake, rains, winds and flooding all causing problems still even after the storm has passed. Experts say this storm has been downgraded to a Category 3, but people are not taking any chances. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered for Florida, the Carolinas, and even Georgia. About 4,500 National Guard members have been activated at this point to help respond to the storm, and about 670 flights just out of Florida alone have been canceled to prepare for this storm. Now, experts say it's better not to take your chances and get out while you can. Reporting in Albuquerque, Tamara Lopez, KOB4. 
UNM football is kicking off their season with a win, beating out Sam Houston State this past Saturday. But for head coach Bob Davey, it was a scary night. He was hospitalized immediately following the game. Now, according to athletic director Eddie Nunez, Davey was sent to UNM Hospital because of a serious medical in incident. According to the Albuquerque Journal, Davey could be seen clutching his chest, his midsection, even kneeling at one point throughout the game. Now, we still don't know what sent Davey to the hospital, but he has released his own statement saying he is making a full recovery. UNM is on a bye week this week, but it's still unclear if Davey will be joining them for practice. Reporting in Albuquerque, Tamara Lopez, KOB4. At just the age of 14, figure skater Alyssa Liu has become the first woman in U.S. history to land a quadruple Lutz in competition. She did it this past Saturday at the Junior Grand Prix in Lake Placid, New York. With this title, she effectively ended the Russians' reign on this event with their 20 straight titles at the Junior Grand Prix. She dominated in the free skate, earning a total point value of 80.14, which was, get this, 14 points ahead of the second place competitor. She also dominated in the short program. She earned an overall total point value of 208.10 points. It doesn't stop there. That's not all this teenager has done. Back at, in the beginning of this year in January, at just the age of 13, she became the youngest figure skater ever to, year, to earn a US championship title. She is a favorite for the U.S. figure skating team for the 2022 Olympics. For now, the rest of the U.S. is just waiting to see what more she can accomplish until the Olympics. Reporting in Albuquerque, Tamara Lopez, KOB4. The illegal trash dumping problem in San Juan County may finally have a solution. Just recently, the Farmington Daily Times reported that San Juan County has released a mobile app for your cell phone that can help you upload pictures and GPS tag the locations of these illegal trash dumping sites. This app will be free and it is compatible with iPhones, and Androids, which you can download from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Now, this app has been simplified for users to use. All you have to do is snap a picture of the illegal trash dumping site, upload it on the app, and then officials will have the GPS coordinates that you used to go and locate the site and clean it up. So, if you live in San Juan County and you find an illegal trash dumping site and you wish to report it, all you have to do is download the app, snap a picture, upload it, and officials can get to it in a streamlined manner. Reporting in Albuquerque, Tamara Lopez, KOB4.